So I just want to make a real brief video because we've been over this track before. Um, we're at the 314, CR 314, just coming off of the Marshall Swamp Trailhead for the backpackers. And I uh, just want to kind of get this real, real quick. So let's get on across. <clears throat> All right. This is good to see somebody put some garbage next to the pole. That's what you do. If you're going to pick up garbage and you don't have the bags, do a little community service. Just throw them next to the signs. And uh, the, the uh, paid workers will come through and they'll pick it up. But the uh, you know, last time we were here, this hadn't been maintained at all. And uh, you can see, looks like they've done some work. Now, what I was suggesting to the backpackers was just hike up by the road here. Um, so, or even a hiker, okay? Because, you know, coming through here, you can see it's, <laughs> there's been no trail crew back here. It looks like what they did was, for the power lines, I believe, they just cut along here, and that's why they cut. Now, that's a tough hike through there, okay? If you're just a hiker, I mean, uh, and that you don't have, you know, like, see, if you got book. See, I got my hikers on, a whole totally different outfit today for just hiking, but, you know, this ground gets kind of, you could twist an ankle in here, it's treacherous, it's hard to hike. You know, why go up that? Just go up by the road. And uh, what I'm going to suggest, and uh, see, that's, that's why, you know, coming back in here, you see this right here, foot traffic, welcome. Which, by, <laughs> by the way, I wonder, wonder why they say welcome. You know, is that must be the, the woke way of saying foot traffic only. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to take bikes or motor vehicles or anything else except foot traffic. So welcome, yeah, it's welcome, all right, but it's supposed to be only. I, I hate this woke stuff. But, uh, so, okay. So if I was a backpacker, we're, we went up here, and I spent three days cutting the trail in this way. By the way, where we are, I finally found it on a, man, I tell you, I had to look a long time online. You know, this is the Silver Springs State Park right over here, okay? And where we're at, we're at the southeast portion of the park. And what it's, I still haven't found a picture of the trail, which is kind of crazy. The only thing I'm doing is following the orange uh, signs and cutting my way through. But you could literally just stay on 314 uh, as a hiker and just go all the way. I mean, well, not as a hiker, but as a backpacker, if you're just trying to do the trail, just stay on 314 because from what I can see, it cuts through the forest. It's going to cut through the southeast section. And then, which we've, we've cut in a lot of it, and I'm going to show you where we're going today. It should be interesting. So if you are a hiker, uh, what you could do, if you just want to do, I've cut this through, and it'll probably be good to go until March if you want to hike this section of the trail. I didn't like it. I'm not hiking it today. I'm going to show you where I'm going up to. Um, if you're a backpacker, I just avoid it. It's not maintained. Uh, well, maybe they've been back. I do see some ribbons on posts back in here, so maybe that means uh, somebody's come through and taken a look at it. I just cut through the fence right here and uh, and then just hike down that road right there. Um, and then you, if you want to search on the internet where, where we're at, we're at the Sharps Ferry office. Uh, it's one quarter mile that way. Let's get up to where I'm going to hop the fence and I... Uh, Violate the no trespassing signs, drop my weed eater over the fence, and then go on back into the um, Silver Springs State uh, State Park. And uh, we're, hopefully we're going to cut through the remainder and get back to 314 up in here somewhere. So, okay. So, you know me, it's not all about the hiking. It's about the history. And this is a marker along the road. I doubt many people have ever stopped to read it. And I'll just read a little bit to you because you can just pause here and read it for yourself. I don't know if you can zoom in. I'll tell you what, let's just get the top. Well, there's, that's the best I can do. It says, a short distance north of here stood the sugar plantation of Jew Foster Marshall. Established in 1855, at the start of the Civil War in 1861, Marshall was named a colonel in the Confederate Army and soon commanded one of General Wade Hampton's infantry units, the 1st South Carolina Rifles. Colonel Marshall was killed during the Second Battle of Manassas. Wow, Manassas, he got way. That's a long ways for troops to hike. I don't think we understood how far them guys were, were walking and hiking and riding horses to get all the way up to Manassas from here. 
that just in a, in, in a year. I mean, you think about that, that war, that's 1862. Plantation continued in operation and supervision of his widow until March 10th, 1865. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll stop there. You can read the rest on your own. I'm gonna read it right now and uh, we'll get the video uh, across the road here. So this is almost depressing. You know, you could, like what I was saying, a backpacker, you could just hike along 314, right along here to get back down to Marshall Swamp. But uh, I would just hike up to here and avoid that whole section of trail that I cut in. Now, you know, my goal is to hike all of the Florida Trail, and if yours is too, you're going to have to hike that. But uh, I imagine next year it's going to all be grown up again, and I guarantee you I won't be cutting, <laughs> cutting that in next year unless something changes. But here's where we're going we're gonna to hike up. Uh, right here. Unfortunately, I, I wish I could drive the car back in here, but they got this chain um, So I got to leave the car right here on 314 and I'm seeing that standing water along the road So it hasn't rained in three or four days. I was really really hoping That uh, it's gonna be dried out, but uh, it sure don't look like it. See I can go right around this fence right here I don't know what number nine means. I guess this might be the number nine dirt road But anyway, this should be an easy hike and that's where I'm gonna make a uh, a resilience video as we hike up that with all of my gear on carrying the weed eater. Now I don't like uh, leaving the car just right there. I mean it's not a hugely traveled road. As you can see one car going by that way. Uh, one car coming up that way. If somebody really wanted to pull in there and bust into it. Uh, certainly not going to be any cops or sheriffs back in here. But uh, anyway I'm not going to hike through that area again. So let's just uh, get going and then I'll, I'll make my selfie video here in just a minute when we get on the other side of the fence. So this is where I cut in before. And uh, I remember I had a happy day when I got here and, and it's still pretty wet. And, uh, and then we knew that uh, the trail was going left because of those two markers right there. I cut around that post. And uh, I'm kind of depressed to see this. My buddy Vince up in... Michigan who's a real hunter they got a bag of corn right here so they're gonna bait the deer in deer season so that they can uh, you know just bring them up and just shoot them like uh, not the graceful animals that they are I mean a real hunter he would stake out this tree stand and uh, and look around the area see where the deer tracks are track the deer you know just like a an Indian scout you know that's the way you should be doing your hunting you know it's not it's not right to bait them up in here and then uh, and then shoot their head off but uh, that's the nature of some, some people's hunting tactics. So let's get on down. All right, I'm gonna take a breather. I just wanted to show you, this is where we're gonna get started. Naturally, there hadn't been squat done back here. And you see this mud and water. I'm gonna try to get through it and just kind of show you what I'm getting. See, it is dried out somewhat. It was, I couldn't even get through here before. And then it goes into the weeds here. And I see the orange marker on the tree back here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to kind of cut along in here. This it ain't that day on bad. Look, here's here's some water right there. So it's going to be slow going. Now, yeah, that's a problem. I mean, what I I don't know how far I hike to get back in here. And uh, I mean, I'm going to throw the bear spray on the side as we cut through. I'll go ahead and just put the uh, the phone up here as hike up a ways just to just to show you what it looks like. Uh, all I'm doing is just knocking this stuff down. You might say, well, that ain't going to take that long. Yeah, but when you're doing miles of it, that takes a while. And we do have three batteries today. I don't know if I'll have the energy. It's kind of a warm day here, and believe it or not. I can't believe it. It's about 75 degrees. There's a trail going on this way. Uh, and these, these are those doggone things that just stick to your clothes. That's what I was telling you. You look like a porcupine when you come out of the forest from those things. So we're, I'm just going to knock those down. This might not be too bad. I mean, I think it'll take me that long unless we come to another obstacle like a tree that I got to cut through. I do have the saws with me. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna throw the bear spray on my side. Now, one thing I did bring today is a radio. And I think uh, if I'm making a lot of noise, which I will be, you know, that should keep the animals uh, away. I don't know about them wild pigs though. That's a whole different ball game. And the bears, you know, they're pretty, unless they got a cub, they're, they're not going to bother you 90% of the time, 99% of the time. But those wild pigs, I've heard some, some crazy stories. And whether the bear spray will work on them, I really don't know. 
uh, you know, of course, I've never actually had to, to use it. So, but luckily it's new, and like I've told you in the past, you know, I have some, had some bear spray, but it was many years old, and they say about every four, I would say four or five years, you should restock. And uh, we'll, we'll clip some of this down. Let's just go up just a second further. It's not looking too bad. Maybe we'll get a couple miles up in here, but then, you know, unfortunately, I have to hike back. <laughs> that's a, that's the problem i mean if i was actually just getting to a destination we could probably get there you know but there's no car or motorcycle waiting for me on the other side we got to work our way back so all right well, let's get going and probably the next video will be about a mile or two up the trail unless i see something unique you can see it's quite beautiful back in here i like it i like it in the trees uh, it's warm i expect the mosquitoes out um, but right here, I mean, of course, it's not too bad. So maybe I can, uh, we'll blaze our way. Let's blaze our way on. So this is really discouraging. I just thought I'd show you. This is really slow going. I bet I don't get one mile today. You know, 1,500 miles. So how many times, how many days would that be? 1,500 days. That's, that's it. So three, four years to hike the Florida Trail. Well, they're going 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 west we're doing all right but uh this is where we came from through this way and uh i'm just uh i'm real disappointed i mean they haven't done squat back in here for who knows how long i guess uh all the, even here in florida i mean we got tons and tons of money coming in and i know the state government has money why isn't a trail crew been back in here probably since uh last well i'd say last winter for sure I mean, anything to be grown in that much is just crazy. And uh, so cutting my way through, you know, like I said, you look like a porcupine. And I could cut just enough, but I'm trying to trying to do a little maintenance here. I guess we'll go back uh, back west and just enjoy another day and come back out in a couple of weeks. But you can see the orange market back there. I'll keep going because might as well wait till I, you know, got to hike back and it's going to be dark by the time I get back. All right. Thought I'd get a video of this. Good news is I don't have to bring the weed eater because I'm cutting my way with the, these because this will just break the string off on the weed eaters. You can see I'm just doing enough to be able to hike the trail. And you can tell by my voice I just drank some water. I'm literally just taking a break right now, just kind of admiring. I think I, I just left the weed eater behind, I left the backpack behind. And I think we're going to break out. I'm getting optimistic anyway up here. Uh, if we are, then we'll get a get another mile of a hike in, I'm hoping. I got the, uh, man, the, the birds are all over me. Got the bear spray in the pocket there. So we, uh, but you can see, this, you know, mainly I just had to cut back on the sides. To get the, you know, I just don't want them birds stuck. I mean, they're already stuck all over me, but, uh, you know, at least this way, next time I come, I don't have to cut through here. Yeah, that's what I did with the other section of the trail is you cut a cut about a mile or two and then call it a day and then cut another mile or two and call it a day. And uh, anyway, let's wait till we get to that section I think is going to break out. So let's get a selfie here. Yeah, I had to pull the bug netting out. It's a different type of bug netting. Got this in Canada, actually. And it's very, very comfortable. It's kind of like wearing a cotton shirt. I should have had it on because the skeeters have been on me and I got some bites. Uh, got to be a little more careful about that. But let me show you what I'm seeing here. I'm thinking we've broken out. Maybe we'll get a hike in. I'm just going to go down here. It's past 3 o'clock. And... Uh, it's going to be a while getting back, and um, let's just get a video of what I'm seeing. We'll go on about another mile, and uh, maybe we'll reach 314 after we cut through. Hold on. You see what I'm seeing? I didn't cut this. Oh, man. Getting here, what a nightmare. But, man, if it just gives me a half a mile where I don't have to cut it, you know, the next stop is that... 66 bar I think that's what it's called and then uh, and then we'll get through to the uh, Kala Forest and that uh, I, I'm hoping man they get to have done something back in the Kala Forest 
Okay, looks like I gotta start cutting again. At least we got a ways down here. Man, look at that. Holy moly. Is that the is that the trail? Or I see something going this way maybe. Please let this be the trail. Oh come on. No way I gotta cut through there. I don't see. Man. There it is. Hot right, damn. Let's just keep on going. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's cut the camera off. You see what I'm seeing. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. I'll put the, uh, the phone down. I'll do a little bit of cutting in here, but it ain't gonna take much. That's gonna be easy. Thank God. So I, I left the phone behind and I thought, you know what, it'd be just my luck to have somebody come in behind me and uh, bye bye phone. So uh, you see those three marks? That means the trail I'm hiking back. It's easy to get lost back in here. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a trail? <laughs> I, was, I went up there maybe a quarter mile. I said, man, I'm not seeing any orange markers. So, and then you see something like that. It looks like somebody's been back in here. I don't know what the, the ribbon on the tree is, but uh, I think maybe we can finish off this trail on the next trip, you know, and not even have to cut anything. I mean, I cut a little bit. I, that's why I was left the phone behind because you can't cut and carry your phone at the same time. So uh, we'll get on a ways back in here. Man, man, is this a happy day or what? So we're getting, man, if we get to the Ocala National Forest and uh, if, it, boy, if the trail could just look like this, I can ride the motorcycle. That's, I don't want to be driving the car every single time to, to come back in here. And Well, it looks like I'm, I'll just leave the weed eater behind next time we come and that'll be good. But here, let's get one last look. I can see the orange marker up here. Once again, it looks like vehicles have been back in here. So I don't know. That's it's not the, the big one that tore off the trail on the other side. Uh oh. Well, see, once again, I think you're just going to need the cutters to get through there. No weed either. It's going to be necessary. So uh, let me let me cut a little further. It's getting to be 3:30, and I got to get all the way back to that car. I'll bet. If we keep going that way, that we're gonna bust out on 314 some point soon, probably not too further along. But man, look at that. That's gonna take some work. All right, that's it for for now. So I just had to show you. It's just unhikable. Oh man. I mean, I cut a little ways up, but can you imagine how many hours or days it's gonna to take to cut through that? I mean, how long has it been since a trail crew has been back in here? You know, and we're in, supposed to be in Silver Spring State Park. You know, you would think just the state park would come out and do something. But, uh, you know, so looking, you know, I'm just cutting down the minimum, trying to get through. And you say, okay, well, Kirk, couldn't you just hike through? No, them burrs, they get all over you, man. And they scratch the crap. I mean, even if you hear, just take a, so over here, look at that bug netting. See how they just stick to it? Here, let's get the other side. You see what I mean? So if you tried to hike through that, you'd look like a burma monster. I mean, you'd be forever picking them things off and they get to scratching you after a while. But that's the trail. My God. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll be back here maybe in a couple weeks, couple, three weeks. You know, I'll just, uh, next time I'm just bringing the clippers, there ain't no reason to bring them. Weed eater or anything else, not even a backpack, just some water in the clippers. Well, that little blue backpack. So let's get on back and uh, that's uh, probably it for the day. I can't think of anything else I want to show you. And although I might go up that road a little bit, if it, depending on what time it is when I get back to the road. All right, so got to pause. Man, I tell you, that, that hike back. Yeah, that backpack with all those batteries in it. Anyway, I just, you know, the happy moment is when you get and you see that. And no busted windows, it hadn't been towed, there's not a ticket on it, <laughs> you know. I mean, I see cars parked along these roads all the time, but you just never know. But anyway, we're going to go down 314 a ways. i got some daylight left. See if we can find the other end of that trail, because I'm hoping I won't have to cut it in. Let's see what, what we find. So you remember in those written directions, I told you that you want a ways down 314. And then you came 
that's showing a right hand turn and then we're coming over here so this is so you do hike a little ways down 314 I saw a sign back there that said Florida Trail but, uh, so this is where you would cut in now where and you know, if I wanted to park somewhere I don't know once again I guess you'd have to park right there but this is where the Florida Trail cuts back in let's just go just two steps back in here oh, man I am hurting so this might be somewhat maintained it looks like okay so if I can get to here maybe we'll just get to hike it looks like a nice hike I mean that's real pretty cutting through the trees and man that's really uh, man okay so we just got to get to here probably another mile mile and a half maybe two miles of cutting to get to here I just uh, don't understand why they're not maintaining that other portion of the trail okay so we found this side let's see if we can find the other side and then maybe I can hike back to where you know I stopped today and that might be a better way and maybe not go all the way back just leave some of it the way it is and and just say just say we did just say we did now I I do want to hike the whole thing well I'm gonna cut it in so but it's good this is encouraging maybe I won't have to do maintenance here okay let's find the other side all right so we got it figured out finally the road that I went up <laughs> it's not that far down here for all that trail that I cut I you know I guess they're just trying to make it interesting to go through the woods but you could, if you're backpacking, just come straight down 314 from Marshall Swamp. And the trail goes this way. There's a river up here going that way. But here's what it here's what it looks like. So what if, if I'm going to hike this, this spot, I can't be that far from this point on the trail. You can see I'm just going to have to cut it in. It's unhikable. But I'm hoping that, hell, maybe I was only about a mile that way before I quit. Um... So I don't know, you know, I can even bring the weed eater from this side because now I don't have to hike down that dirt road. And, uh, you know, I guess just once again, just park the car right here and uh, and then just come in from right here, go back this way. And then, uh, well, no need to, in my mind, no need to hike down the road. I, you know where it cuts back in. We just saw that on the other side. So I think we'll have this portion of the Florida Trail knocked out in the next uh, couple weeks. All right, that is it for today. I know you're happy.